So, why are you for equality though? I mean, I really think that everybody deserves to live a dignified life, free from oppression, regardless of how different we are. Yeah, and, and for me, the whole idea that we are all equal, and then you have people who think that because someone is different from me, or mm -hmm. doesn't look the way I look, mm -hmm. or doesn't do things the way I do them, is less important or is less of a human being than me, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's absurd. Admittedly, we are equal yeah. human beings, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah. I think it's only when things, it's only when we're going to give equal opportunities to people mm -hmm. that the world is going to be a better place. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to agree with you. As for me, I think it's the only thing that we can do, especially as a country and as a continent, as Africa and as the world at large. I think being uh, promoting for equality for everybody, I think it's like the only way we can do. So, so our motto is really built on three pillars. Uh, the first one is advocacy and influencing. And we look at policy processes and actions, and we look at how do they align with human rights and gender equality. As our second pillar is convening and connecting, and we build capacities of the women's movement, and also look at facilitating spaces for conversations that matter to women. And the third one is knowledge generation and dissemination. And through this, we are looking at building a knowledge base on human rights and gender equality, so that it becomes a resource to the women's movement and to everyone who is interested in the issues that we care about. So a lot of times when we hear the word advocacy, we think shouting, we think taking it to the streets, and that's just a small part of it. I really think that advocacy has a lot to do with strategic influence. So for example, as for equality, we're doing a lot of work around the Eastern and Southern African commitments on quality education, and these are ministerial commitments. And so what we had to do was to really think about who was at the core of signing to these commitments, and these were the ministers of youth, gender, and education. And so how do we then begin to be strategic about approaching these people and holding them accountable? as part of our advocacy efforts. And when we think about our big picture, we are really envisioning an Africa which is gender just and equal. And what we mean by that is an Africa where you and I, regardless of who you are, what you look like, your gender, your race, your ethnicity, you have equal access to opportunities, but not to only opportunities, outcomes as well. And for us, that is the Africa that we want to see.